Hey everyone, we are over here at a lake home project on Little McDonald and I cannot wait to show you the before and afters of this beautiful bathroom. It's been seriously a tremendous transformation. So let's go check it out. Voila! Night and day difference guys. We added so much more lighting in here. You walk in, this accent wall with the vanity just really speaks to you, jumps out and gives you that main like wow factor that this bathroom needed. And in the before pictures, there was a pipe that ran all the way through the back there. They had a little vanity that didn't fill this space. So they weren't using their full potential for storage. So we decided to have this custom vanity built and expand that in between the two walls. We also had removed a tile wainscoting that was all the way along this wall, which really, when you do tile wainscoting, sometimes in a residential bathroom, especially when you have a bathroom like this that doesn't have windows, it really feels encroaching in the space. So we removed that tile, brought it back to sheetrock, and did this beautiful sea salt, is what it's called, Sherwin-Williams paint color. So on this vanity, we wanted to bring in a warm tone wood vanity because everything else in the bathroom was fairly cool tone. So I like mixing the cools with the warms as I've mentioned before. And so what we did was we actually did this gorgeous Cambria countertop that has a seamless appearance for the sink, which is an undermount sink. I love doing the large rectangular undermount sinks because it really gives you so much more space in your sink. And then what I think is unique is the polished nickel bathroom faucet. And all of the fixtures in here are actually that polished nickel. So that beautiful sheen that really shines. It's just so pretty, such a beautiful color. So I wanted to accent the vanity wall and do something really unique because when you do walk in this bathroom, it's the first wall that you see. So I wanted it to be that statement piece. So behind here, we actually decided to carry the same tile that we did on the shower floor behind the mirror and these are these really unique fish scale tiles is what I call them because they live on the lake I wanted to incorporate something fun and a different shape so when selecting a mirror I wanted a mirror that would play off of the fish scale tiles and really just accentuate them and make them stand out even more so what I love so much about this particular mirror is not only how it ties in kind of the color of the vanity but also the shape of the fish scales tiles with the round top and the round bottom. And that brings me to my pendant lights as well. The pendant lights up here actually have kind of that curved at the top too that really bring in the fish scale tiles and the mirror as well. And it all works together so beautifully. Previously, we had a light above the vanity, but I decided to remove that and do two drop down pendants on each side of the mirror. Now that we were widening this space with the length of the vanity, I thought that the pendant lights would just add to that and just give that cozy ambience at night. So now I'm gonna show you a little trick. And this is one of my favorite things I love to play off lighting and so I wanted this to be a bathroom that they could leave a little night light on for their guests when they come to stay because this is their main guest bathroom this is where everybody uses when they come to stay here so so down here you can see where we did the beautiful toe kick lighting. That toe kick lighting really is a great night light at night. Plus they can really set the mood and the ambiance by doing these beautiful pendant lights that drop down and leaving both of those lights on at night for their guests to build to come and use the restroom. So because we were taking off the tile wainscoting and returning it to sheetrock, we needed new base trim. So we went with a white base trim, but then what we did to match the ceiling to that white base trim is we actually painted the ceiling. Before it was kind of more of a whitewashed, almost a little bit of a clay colored wood. And we decided to paint everything white and give it a really fresh coat. A benefit of working with a custom cabinet builder is they can build anything to any size. So one thing that we decided to do to maximize space in this bathroom was build this beautiful piece here that they could store their towels in and any other bathroom accessories. One other thing you'll notice is that we also decided to light up this cabinet piece as well so that again at night it just had that cozy ambiance. You don't really have to turn on the lights to come in and use this restroom if you're here in the middle of the night. So at one point this was a fiberglass unit that had kind of a tub base at the bottom. We ripped that out and we updated it to this beautiful walk-in tiled shower. I wanted to keep the tile walls fairly simple because I was again accenting with that fish scale tile on the shower floor and that to me was a statement piece that this shower needed. 
One thing that I love to incorporate, especially for women in a shower, is this six inch shaving shelf here that's about a foot off the ground. This is nice to be able to put your foot up on for women who need to shave their legs in the shower. Again, you'll notice this beautiful polished nickel shower hardware. It's just absolutely beautiful and it really stands out in the shower, giving it all the decorative pieces that the shower really needed. So for the bathroom floor, we transformed this from a sheet vinyl to a tile. These are six by 24 inch tiles and they have a lot of natural variation in them. They're actually called Myrtle Beach, so they give it a little bit more of that beachy vibe. And what I loved about them also is that they're gonna hide everything. They really have a nice variation of different color tones in them where we could pull so many different options of color from the wall color to the cabinet color, the tile, you name it throughout this entire space, that floor just ties it all together. So anytime that you have a vanity that's between two walls like this, it's always a great idea to really accentuate that and you can run that tile all the way up to the ceiling. Thanks for watching this Little McDonald bathroom transformation. We hope this gives you inspiration for your own home.